two at the San Ysidro border on the Mexican side, unable to board plane to book ticket to get to Bolivia. And my money is spent because of my medication being so expensive I couldn't. It would have been cheaper in Bolivia. But I was not able to get there. tried to set me up repeatedly while I was here, both in the airport in Mexico City with violence and here with drugs. It's unbelievable trying to sell me prescription drugs, controlled substances in Mexico without a prescription. June 4th, 2022, San Ysidro. So this trip has cost $1,200 already and I can't understand how in the world this was 300. This was almost 300. This was a lot of money by itself, but I'm supposed to have two of these boxes and that's why I'm making this video. I gave the, the man the prescription for two boxes. He comes back with one box. And remember this is corrupt Tijuana in corrupt Mexico. Here's your, here's your, here's your prescription. Well, no, it's two boxes. Yeah, but I can only get one box. You, you lost your prescription when you, well, no, that wasn't the, you know, that's, that's not how it's supposed to work. I gave you a prescription for two boxes. Oh, he says, don't worry. The pharmacist tells me I have a friend who can get it for you privately. And he, he's going to come over here at two and he's going to sell you the, uh, Lozam. This is lorazepam, by the way. It's Ativan. Okay. It's a controlled substance. You see the setup? They, 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 they use this against me in Cincinnati, Ohio, where they try to get me to buy uh, prescription drugs or sell, sell prescription drugs, uh, uh, both, uh, without a, a prescription. Um, and and so, uh, to take prescription drugs, to buy prescription drugs, uh, even to sell drugs, and they were going to take my drugs uh, it's an amazing the, the little the way they, they they're so subtle you know uh, I didn't agree to any of that but here if you don't know what you're looking out for you know he says oh no don't worry do it all the time no problem it's uh, it's common it's common my friend bring you the other box I should have two boxes I had a prescription a prescription that prescription is for two boxes of the Lora of Lozam Lorazepam Ativan. Okay, by that doctor, two boxes. He only brought me one box. Now he's trying to get me to buy the other box privately from a friend without a prescription. That's set up, that's high tech entrapment. Okay, it's not, you know, how they do business across the border. No, I'm under constant watch, totally boxed 10, 24 seven. They've been trying to set me up for decades. Uh, and this is just another example, okay, of what they're doing. Uh, I had to come across the border to get medicine. I tried to buy a ticket to Bolivia. They blocked that. That was on June the 3rd. So I tried to buy a ticket on June the 4th. They blocked that. Tried to buy a ticket on June the 5th. They blocked that. See, I don't have enough money to go just purchase it at the counter. They know that. It's thousands and thousands of dollars. I can't do that. I have to put my tickets online. They just block them online, you know. So, uh, you know, day after day after day, there's just, there was just no flights. Well, that's BS. I take a, a plane into Mexico City. I can take a, 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 a plane from Mexico City anywhere in the world. But you see, that's the game. They had no right. This 25-year investigation, 25 plus, that didn't start in 25, 25 years ago. It was, on, it was underway 25 years ago. So 25 plus year investigation. Okay, and they're still blocking flights. This is mind control, people. This is trauma-based mind control. Every time I attempt to buy medicine, they block my credit card, make me go to the ATM. It's just chaos, absolute chaos. You have doctors uh, altering prescriptions so that they don't work properly, giving me bogus prescriptions that, that uh, for old medicine they don't even sell anymore. Uh, it's, you know, I should have been here 
It's unreal. And all that has cost me so much money that I, I, I can't buy the ticket to Bolivia now. I tried to book a ticket to Bolivia and I, you know, I can't buy it. I don't have the money. Because this, you're looking at, and, and, and all the trauma and chaos that went along with it, you're looking at over $1,200. Though this is medicine, it's cheap. <clears throat> this was 300 US dollars right here. This was 300 US dollars right here. That's $600 just for two medicines. That's US dollars, that's not pesos. This was about $50. A little more, a little less, fifty dollars. So there's six hundred and fifty dollars. Plus, I had a two uh, a two hundred dollar ticket I lost because I realized that going to Mexico City wasn't going to help me get out to to to. I was trying to go to Bolivia. I wasn't trying to go to Mexico City. I, I booked a ticket. I tried to book the ticket from Tijuana through Mexico to Bolivia. They blocked it, um, and then they started attacking me. I booked another ticket to try to get to Mexico. Then booked the ticket. See, that's all a game. It's all a game. These people are morally corrupt. They are morally corrupt people. Only the born again Christians here who are following God faithfully can you trust. These people are institutionally, inherently, genetically corrupt. They just grow up in a corrupt environment and anything goes. This is the border, and it's it's notorious it's notoriously bad for criminals uh, getting away with whatever they want to get away with. Uh, and this is just an example. This pharmacist is going to set me up with a controlled substance bought bought privately from a friend without a prescription. When I had a prescription, I gave him this prescription right here. I gave it to him. It was for two boxes. He comes back with one box. Oh, don't worry, though. You lost your prescription, by the way. You So you can't get that other box. What do you mean? But I can help you. I have a friend. Here. He'll sell you the other box privately uh, under the table. No, no don't, don't worry. That's, that's a controlled substance in Mexico. That's a felony. You see the setups? Yeah, I go through this all the time. It's called bait and switch. I write about it in my articles. They, they keep deleting. They keep deleting. They use the organized stalkers, the informant provocateurs, the government perpetrators, and then they pull bait and switch with law enforcement. So it looks like law, it's a law enforcement investigation. No, it's not. These are criminal lowlifes. Criminal lowlifes. 221, Saturday the 4th, 2022. The game begins every day. Well, I gave you a prescription for two boxes. I only got one box, so I, I can have another box coming. Yeah, but the thing is, like I told you, I can't. Um, I warned you before I gave you another one. Once I give you one the prescription, so yeah. they only have one, yeah. you lose it. So, I mean, yeah. so it, it doesn't count anymore. No
Well, I gave you a prescription for two boxes. I only got one box, so I, I should have another box coming. Yeah, but the thing is, like I told you, I can't. Um, I warned you before. I gave you another one. Once I gave you one the prescription, so yeah. you only have one. Yeah. You lose it. I mean, so it doesn't count anymore. Yeah. The guy that's gonna bring it, he has it at his house. So I mean, you don't need a prescription for it. He, he's just gonna give you another price. Okay. That's the only thing. Yeah. But he's gonna be here. He gets up at work at two. He lives by Son of Rio, but by the time he gets here, probably by around two thirty. Okay, I'll come back. All right, thanks.